I'm meteorologist Chris Holcomb from the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. We're keeping a close eye on Tropical Storm Sally in the Gulf of Mexico. It is expected to become a hurricane before it makes landfall. Landfall we think will be on Tuesday. Right now, look at all the advisories that are along the Gulf Coast region. This impacts many of the places uh, where you uh, take your vacations here along the Florida Panhandle. We have a hurricane warning in effect for much of the Louisiana coastline, a tropical storm warning in effect for parts of the Mississippi, Alabama, Alabama and Florida Panhandle. And then we have a tropical storm watch in effect here on this part of the Panhandle as you get closer to Apalachicola. So many areas under the gun for this storm is going to continue uh, to move up toward the Gulf Coast region. Here is the latest that we have. This is based on the 5 p.m. advisory on Sunday afternoon. Maximum sustained winds at 60 miles an hour, moving west northwest at 9 miles an hour. Here's the forecast track. You can see we expect landfall most likely at some point on Tuesday around the Louisiana coastline, maybe Monday night on that little part of the Louisiana coastline. And again, this track could change. This, what you wanna look at is the entire cone here uh, of where we can see that margin of error uh, as it moves on in. Earlier, the forecast track was showing this becoming a category two. Now the hurricane, saying, hurricane center is saying that this is most likely going to stay a category one, but maybe with winds at 90 miles an hour um, as it moves inland. And then as it moves inland, it becomes a tropical storm. This is Wednesday at two in the morning. And then we will have to watch the remnants as they will be moving our way as an area of low pressure. Thursday into Friday. This is going to be bringing us some rain. We will be watching for the potential for a storm risk and the potential that some of those showers could be heavy at times. Here's a look at the forecast track of what we're watching as it moves inland. This is on Tuesday. We're going to have just a few scattered showers here uh, on, during the day on Tuesday. And then as the storm continues to move northward, again, just a few spotty showers on Wednesday. Our main rain threat, we think, is going to be on Thursday, where you see the center of the circulation here of the remnants moving up toward the north and toward, toward the metro Atlanta area. That will give us a lot of rain Thursday and into early on Friday. This is at 6.30 in the morning. We'll be watching for that storm risk with this as well and then it moves up toward the north this is Friday afternoon and then once it gets out of here we should clear out pretty nicely for the rest of the weekend on Saturday and then also on Sunday it's just going to be something that we'll be watching all week long uh, for those rain chances and that storm risk later in the week in fact take a look at some of the rain totals we're expecting out of this system you can see all of the rain at landfall, of course, along the Gulf Coast region. But as we're watching these remnants coming our way, this is Thursday at 5 when you see that purple color. That's when we talk about rainfall totals between uh, one and a half and two and a half inches. And then we get into the oranges and yellows, and that could be four plus inches of rain by the end of the week with all of that tropical moisture that is going to be moving into our direction. Here is the latest on Hurricane Paulette. You know, this is just an interesting one to watch, especially for the folks in Bermuda, as it's going to be coming over Bermuda, we think is a category two storm and then curving away, maybe even becoming a major hurricane, a category three, but it moves away from the Atlantic coastline and no impact on us here in the United States. We also also have a tropical depression that is out in the central Atlantic. That's the one we were watching last week that was coming off the coast of Africa. Here, of course, are the Leeward Islands. The, the Atlantic coast is way up here. This could also become a major hurricane, a Category 3, on Thursday and also into Friday. It looks like this should stay away from the Atlantic coastline as well, but of course, we'll keep a close eye on it. Tropical Storm, or actually Tropical Depression, Renee, is also out in the Atlantic, but it is weakening and it's most likely going to fall apart soon. A lot to watch this week, folks. We'll keep you posted on 11Alive, 11alive.com, and on social media.